Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a really cool new Unify Protect update, which is Unify Protect 6. This brings a lot of new features and there are some features that are locked to the AI key, so you'll need to buy one of those if you wanna use it. If you wanna hire me, you could visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com. We provide remote support. We also do on-site installations. Now let's jump right into it. The first improvement is right here on the dashboard. If we look down, we can see this new spotlight section. Spotlights help you monitor what matters most, people, vehicles, packages, and more across all of your cameras. All we need to do is click on this button here to create a spotlight. With the spotlight brought up, we could do a couple things here. We could give it a name and we have four different objects. So we have AI spotlight, which requires the AI key, we have known face, we have LPR, and we have activity. This first one, I'm just gonna call cats. What I'm gonna wanna search with this for the object, I'm gonna do an AI spotlight, and I'm just gonna call it cat, because I wanna see when my cats are back in the catio, or if they ever escape. We also have this little thing right here. We could be more precise, and that will give us less daily hits, or we could be more broad, and it would give us more hits. I'm gonna keep it probably to about 75%. Now our spotlight duration, if we hover over the eye icon, there's three different things that we could do. We could do continuous, which spotlight will stay active until you remove it. We could do limited, spotlight will be active for a set time. After that, it will be removed. And then we could do inactive. Spotlight will not detect new events, but you can still access it from the spotlight manager. I'm gonna have mine go on continuous and then press create. That spotlight is now created and we can see it here and it shows up as cats. So if I click on this, it's gonna show me all of the video footage of my cats. You can see Mocha walking in the back. If we scroll down, we could click and then we could see Nilly itching her ear. This is a really cool new feature. Let's create one more spotlight. So I'm gonna create new and I'm gonna call this known faces. We're gonna click on the known faces and I'm just gonna select uh, Chantel and Jay and then press create. Now we could see the known faces is popping up and we could see all of the faces that are within that spotlight. So this is gonna make it very easy to be able to find people right from your dashboard, people or different objects. This next update allows us to see dwell time of either an object or of a person. As you can see here on screen, we could see a car right here and it's showing the dwell time of 33 minutes in 45 seconds. So that is a cool feature. And you could also see if an object has been sitting around maybe at your front door for a little while. Now, I believe this only works with AI cameras and G6 cameras, but you could either look at it with the live view or you could look at the playback and it will work. The next update is the smart object search. It only works with people currently and it does require an AI key. But you could see me here walking this morning to the mailbox. I'm gonna click on this thumbnail. And to be able to do this, we need to click on the next AI summary. And you could see right here that it's scanning the object. Once the object is scanned, you could see that the person is highlighted. Clicking on that highlight is gonna bring up the clips that is showing of that person. This is gonna be really helpful if you lose something or if you're trying to track someone around your building or your house. Find anything just got a whole lot better. We could click on the top and then we could search for different objects. Again, I'll do cats and then we're gonna pop up all cats or I could bring up dogs. And you're gonna see dogs that were maybe around my area. But what's really nice, we could click down here and this is to view all of the recordings. We could select people, faces, cars, or license plates. And we could also select it by the camera. So if we only want one specific camera, we could check that off. We also have the date range. So one hour, one day, one week, one month, or we could do custom and we could also look at flagged. We have event type, so we could select animals and it's gonna bring up all the animals that my cameras have captured. We could also bring up loitering. We had see different people have come to my front door and it does trigger it as a loiter. But what's really nice, I like how we could go person, we could select male or female. I'm gonna select male. And for the most part, it is fairly accurate. And then we could specify what type of clothing they're wearing. So I'm gonna go black uh, shirt, and then we're gonna do black pants, which I will probably show up in this quite a lot. Now we could also specify different accessories that they're wearing. So if we want sunglasses, you're gonna be able to see that. And we could do the clothing types, pants, shirts, or we could do different shorts. Scrolling down, if we don't have any people selected, we could do the same thing with vehicles. So if we wanna see a black vehicle, and maybe it's a truck, we're gonna be able to see that. And they're allowing us now different models of different cars. 
So we could see we have a Genesis, we have an Acura, we have an Audi, uh, we have a Ferrari as well. This will make our searches quite a lot easier to do and be able to refine it very quickly. The next section is under our timeline and this is a live view right now, but we could really look at objects or people a lot quicker. So if you look down below, we have this person icon, we have face, we have vehicle, we have license plate. I'll click on the person and you could see it's only captured me for a few minutes here, but I'll click on it and it will scrub through that timeline and bring up that footage. On the right hand side, we could also see the different thumbnails. And if we click on the thumbnail, it will also bring us to that image. Let's now take a look at the improvements of the alarm manager. If I create a new alarm and then I go over to the AI trigger and I'm gonna type in person in hat. Now you can see that there's a preview of what we could do and there's two estimated daily hits, but that's doing more precise. If we make it more broad, it's gonna show us more daily hits. So it's saying 99 plus, but if we click on the preview, it is gonna show us people wearing a hat. So that's something new that they've added. Also, they've added a new test notification for us. So if we select all of the cameras and we wanna do notify and it's gonna notify me, we could see the test alarm. I'm gonna click on the test alarm and then we should see it pop up on my phone. And you could see that there was a Unify Protect alarm that was sent or notification to my phone. So that's really nice to be able to test and see if the alarms are actually triggering. This next improvement is for doing an audit trail within our system log. We're gonna be able to see session history, configuration changes, as well as recording access. So right here, you could see that Cody McCallum viewed the device list. I viewed it at 8.48 in the morning. We could also see when I viewed my camera. I viewed the AIPTC industrial from 8.48 in the morning to 8.48 in the morning. I only viewed it for a second, but if we click on view, it will bring us to that clip timeline and what we were accessing. I just did do a configuration change on my backyard camera, and we could see here that the category is admin activity, its type is a device setting, and the event is camera recording mode changed. So we could see that I changed the backyard's right camera recording mode to detections only. It used to be always continuous. So this is gonna be very good if you have a bunch of administrators who are looking over your camera systems and if they break something, you're gonna be able to pinpoint who it is. Sorry for not the dark mode, but I am signed out of my Ubiquiti account, which is typically in dark mode. We're gonna look at this last. We have a couple new releases also for cameras and the AI port. So we have Unify Protect cameras 5.0.100, which gives us improved face recognition, improved license plate recognition, and for the G6 series of cameras, it now supports the AV1 codec, which is awesome to see. We also have for our AI series added support for hallway mode and then AI again, we added support for the object idle time. And for the AI port, it adds support for third party cameras, which is nice to see, improved device performance and improved connection resiliency for those third party devices. And that's gonna be my video for this new update within Unify Protect, and I think it's come a very long way. I love how we could search for a person, click on that person, and then be able to see wherever they showed up within our cameras. That's gonna make it very easy for security teams to check up what's going on if maybe somebody broke into their home or within their business. Let me know in the comments below what's your new favorite improvement. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.